The act of birth is the first experience of anxiety, and thus the source and prototype of the affect of anxiety. What we call happiness in the strictest sense comes from the, preferably sudden, satisfaction of needs which have been damned up to a high degree. America is the most grandiose experiment the world has seen, but, I am afraid, it is not going to be a success. Civilization began the first time an angry person cast a word instead of a rock. The goal towards which the pleasure principle impels us of becoming happy is not attainable, yet we may not, nay, cannot give up the efforts to come nearer to realization of it by some means or other. Just as no one can be forced into belief, so no one can be forced into unbelief. Men are strong so long as they represent a strong idea they become powerless when they oppose it. The first requisite of civilization is that of justice. Men are more moral than they think and far more moral than they can imagine. Whoever loves becomes humble. Those who love have, so to speak, pawned a part of their narcissism. What progress we are making. In the Middle Ages they would have burned me. Now they are content with burning my books. A man who has been the indisputable favorite of his mother keeps for life the feeling of a conqueror. Illusions commend themselves to us because they save us pain and allow us to enjoy pleasure instead. We must therefore accept it without complaint when they sometimes collide with a bit of reality against which they are dashed to pieces. The tendency to aggression is an innate, independent, instinctual disposition in man. It constitutes the powerful obstacle to culture. The psychoanalysis of neurotics has taught us to recognize the intimate connection between wetting the bed and the character trait of ambition. Every normal person, in fact, is only normal on the average. His ego approximates to that of the psychotic in some part or other and to a greater or lesser extent. Religion is an illusion and it derives its strength from the fact that it falls in with our instinctual desires. A man should not strive to eliminate his complexes, but to get into accord with them, they are legitimately what directs his conduct in the world. What a distressing contrast there is between the radiant intelligence of the child and the feeble mentality of the average adult. Sadism is all right in its place but it should be directed to proper ends. Neurotics complain of their illness, but they make the most of it, and when it comes to talking it away from them, they will defend it like a lioness or young. Yes, America is gigantic, but a gigantic mistake. Children are completely egoistic, they feel their needs intensely and strive ruthlessly to satisfy them. 